Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and today I just wanted to do a quick video on the importance of first aid kits and also the items in your first aid kit. Um, now this, isn't, this video isn't going to apply to everybody but um, I thought it would be a nice little video just uh, to remind a few people about the first aid kits and what they're carrying in them. Um, any hardened bushcrafter will always carry a first aid kit with them and they're usually something along the lines of this kind of thing this is one of the off the shelf first aid kits you can get and um, what I think you should do is just check what you've got in your first aid kit because I mean like I say it won't apply to everybody but I guarantee there's a lot of people out there that have been out and bought a first aid kit like this and thought great I've got my first aid kit put it in my pack, I'm safe. And that's it. And hopefully you'll never ever need it. But on that occasion that you do need it, do you actually know what's in your first aid kit? And that is what today's video is all about. If you've got a first aid kit in your pack, brilliant, you're one step ahead of everybody else. But do you actually know what's in your kit? And more importantly, do you know how to use those individual items? Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm probably as guilty as, uh, as everybody else in this respect. I've not been through this first aid kit with a fine tooth comb. I've added bits for various eventualities, but I've not actually took time out to take everything out and look through exactly what I've got. So that's what I'm going to do today. So let's get it, let's get it unzipped and see what we have got inside. Like I say, this is one of the typical off-the-shelf first aid kits. Right. This is an item I've added myself. It's a little uh, compass, uh, torch and a whistle. So that's something I've added. Uh, this is flu tablets. So if I'm out and about and I get a runny nose, then I'm covered for that. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Plasters. This, uh, this actually came with the kit. So I'm going to put that over there. That's just, uh, you know, length of plaster that you can cut to size. Uh, right, these are steri strips. These are what I've added myself. These are like um, stitches that you can apply yourself. You just stick them on uh, and it's in place of stitching. So that's something I've added. Finger bandage. Uh, that I believe I may have added as well. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, microporous plast plaster tape. So that's tape for wrapping around your bandages, I think. Uh, right, what have we got here? Paracetamol. You never know when you might need paracetamol. That's something I've added. And you can see there, I've just cut a few out of a packet and I've rounded the corners off so they're not sticking in and they also just take up less room uh, and that is a little instruction uh, section off the flu tablets just so I know exactly dosages and things like that so that's a handy little thing if you're not sure what dosage you should be giving yourself then just cut the little instructions out uh, insect repellent wipes these are all things that came with the first aid kit Inset repellent wipes, uh, antiseptic cleaning wipe, antiseptic cleaning wipes, more finger bandage, more tape, uh, first aid instruction. Now this this would be a good idea to just take out of your pack, read through, maybe get familiar with a few items. Uh, burn gel. I didn't even know that was in there. It's all well and good having a first aid kit, but if you don't know what's in it, uh, gloves, cetrimide cream, don't even know what that is, wound pad, iPad. So these are all handy things to have. Scissors, uh, Vent Aid. 
uh, method of giving life saving artificial respiration that's something I've added um, antiseptic cream something I've added bandage more gloves so I think there was another pair of gloves before was there yeah I've added a pair of gloves and there's already a pair of gloves in there so that might be a bit of overkill do I need two pairs of gloves safety pins uh, throat sweets there's something I've added and um, more wound pads and that's it so there we go that's the contents of my first aid kit these are the things that were already in there I think yeah and that's the stuff I've added so things like paracetamol antiseptic cream uh, the Ventade, steri strips um, cold and flu tablets a whistle torch maybe a little torch they're all things if they're not in your first aid kit will be handy to have in if I'd have took that first aid kit with just the items that came with it and I got myself a really bad headache or I was full of a cold or I cut myself really badly really gashed myself somewhere and I needed to apply some kind of stitching then I'd be struggling because there's nothing in there well I suppose there will be a few little bits and pieces I could use but I didn't have any paracetamol didn't have any throat sweets didn't have any cold and flu steri strips so that's why I think it's a good idea to get your first aid kit out and just have a just take everything out set everything out on the floor and just see exactly what you've got and then think if I go out what kind of situations am I going to be in could I do with some paracetamol have I got hay fever do I need some hay fever tablets um, the inhalers things like that you need to put in stuff that's tailored to yourself but you also think may just come in if you need them so it was just a short video just to make people aware of um, one make sure you've got a first aid kit two make sure there's things in your first aid kit that you need and things that may not be in your first aid kit that you should be putting in and also are you familiar with using the items in your first aid kit get your instruction leaflet out have a read through find a little book on first aid look on the internet just get yourself familiar with uh, the items that's in your first aid kit okay I hope that's been of use to some of you um, I know I might be preaching preaching to the choir on for some of it because you're all, you're all pretty clued up on this kind of thing but there will be people out there who have got a first aid kit and it's just in the bottom of the bag and they haven't got a clue what's in it so get it out have a look and just get familiar with your first aid kit okay hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching